If you're running an online store, then you must know that the checkout page is the most crucial part of an online store because this is the place where visitors complete their orders and become customers. During the process, they might change their minds and even leave the store by abandoning their shopping cart. Now, this usually happens when the checkout page is complicated enough and contains a lot of fields to fill in. So to provide the customers with a smooth checkout experience, it's important to have a straightforward, convenient and clean checkout page in an online store. The WooCommerce plugin does come with a basic checkout page which is quite functional, but when it comes to providing an outstanding shopping experience to your store visitors, Shopify's checkout page design is far more user-friendly and simple. At this point, we're excited to share with you that from now on, you'll be able to design a beautiful checkout page like Shopify using the newly implemented module of our Ulentor plugin. And today, I will show you how to do it. If that sounds interesting to you, let's dive in. First of all, let's add a few products to the cart and view the cart page. Now we'll see how the default WooCommerce checkout page looks. As you can see, this is the default checkout page design that comes with the WooCommerce plugin. Now, let me show you the step-by-step -step process to design a Shopify-like checkout page by leveraging the Ulentor plugin. First, navigate to the plugins menu and click on Add New. Then search for the Ulentor plugin over here and install it. Once you have installed and activated the plugin, it will take you to the settings page of Ulentor. From here, click on the Shopify style checkout module. A pop-up will appear right away where you can enable or disable the Shopify style checkout page. Before enabling this option, let me show you once again how the default checkout page looks. Quite a lengthy one, right? Now, let's go back to the pop-up settings and enable the Shopify style checkout option. Next, we'll get back to the checkout page of our store and reload it to see if anything has changed. As you can see, the basic checkout page layout of WooCommerce has been replaced with a more user-friendly and uncluttered layout that looks exactly the same as the Shopify checkout page. We'll perform a few operations to make sure if the page is properly functioning or not. Here we can see that the page is working perfectly fine. Customers can log into the store by clicking on this link. This is where customers will insert their billing details. Let's go ahead and fill out the form. In case you want to ship the product to a different address, simply enable this checkbox. It will open a new form to enter the necessary details related to the shipping address. Otherwise, simply keep this option disabled. Now, let's go ahead and click Continue Shipping. Here we can choose the shipping method. Once we have chosen a method, we'll click on this button to move on to the next step. In this step, we'll choose a payment gateway to place the order. We need to make sure that we have read and agreed to the terms and conditions before placing the order. When the order is placed, it will redirect us to a page where you'll see an order confirmation message including the order details. From the module settings, you can also upload a logo to display it on the Shopify style checkout page. All you need to do is click upload from here and set an image as the logo. Let's save the change and check how the checkout page looks with the logo. This module even allows you to change this bottom menu as per your needs. Here I am assigning a custom menu that I recently created. If I reload the page now, you'll notice that the bottom menu has already been changed. So you can see how easy it is to create a Shopify style checkout page using the Ulentor plugin. This is how you can optimize the checkout page. It will help you reduce the cart abandonment rate while increasing the conversion rate at the same time. I hope you guys have understood everything I've shown in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, please let us know in the comments below. So that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.